yourself and your own people. But I warned the government that at a certain time, if you don't do justice by us, God will retaliate in a way that he has never retaliated on any nation that has existed in the past. He will bring on America as it is written in the scripture. He will bring the blood of the righteous from Abel to Zechariah, even to this very day on one generation. I don't want to see that happen. I would like to see America avoid that. I would really like to see us avoid such a call that would be suicidal. <laughs> but you're dying anyway. Dying anyway. That's right. I want to say before the media says it tomorrow. We are not any terrorist group. We will not let any terrorists kill innocent people for political purposes, not on our watch. If we catch you planting a bomb under a bridge, you'll wish you had never been under the bridge. We can stop that kind of terrorism. But when God chooses to terrorize by sending a tornado in, a fierce, violent wind and hail, and unusual rain and snow and floods, see, we, we, we can't stop that. So you get your sandbag, we'll get our sandbag, and we'll try to stop you know, the results of that. Our leaders, for the most part, are by their choice. These kinds of leaders are Uncle Toms who are licking the boots of our former slave masters for his pleasure and wealth, regardless of what happens to you and me, for they really don't care. Care. Care.